Welcome back to Memorizing Scripture Week here on The Daily Devo Show. Today we have some helpful tools to help everyone who is under construction. But before tool time, let's toss it out to Colleen. Hey guys, it's another day of balance beam knockdown. And once again, I have my dad here and he's gonna be using pool noodles. All right guys, it's gonna be fun. See you at the end. Thanks, Colleen. Yesterday, we discussed that we are already are memorizing things and how memorizing the words of God is very important. How many of us remembered the scripture verse from yesterday? Huh? Ah, good! Remember how we have motions for hidden and word and heart and not sin? Let's say it together now. Ready? I have hidden hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. <laughs> One more time without looking. You ready? I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Oh, <laughs> that was great. <laughs> yes. Some people find memorizing easy, but some of us need some tools to help us since God made us all a little different. Today's new verse is Psalms chapter 119, verse 105. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Here are five tools to help. Tool number one, listen. The most common way to memorize is to hear something over and over and over. This is how many of us learn the lyrics of our favorite songs. The more you listen to or read the words, the easier it is to remember. Here's how I do it. I say it into my phone in the voice recorder, and then I listen to it like this. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light for my path. Ah, oh, cool, right? Ready for tool number two? Here it comes. Read it. Find a verse in the Bible and read it out loud a few times to yourself. Then slowly read it less and say it more as you are remembering the verse. Like this. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Did y'all get that? I did it. If you get stuck, reread the words and keep saying until you don't have to read it. It even works better when you try it a few times a day. I do this on my own life with scripture where I have to memorize lines for a play or TV show. Ah! Tool number three is music. Listening to a verse that is set to music can get more of the brain to help us remember. If you've seen any of our scripture song episodes of the Daily Devo, then you know we use this tool a lot. Now here's one for today's verse. Hit it, Dwight. Mm, mm. Your word is a lamp on my feet, a light on my path. Your word is a lamp on my feet, a light on my path. Your word is a lamp on my feet, a light on my path. I, I, I. <laughs> Fun, right? Oh, and be sure to check out our whole playlist of scripture songs to help you learn some of the Bible's awesomest verses. You can just search scripture songs or Look for thumbnails like this. Okay, we still have two more tools to show you. The next one, tool number four, is called writing. Try writing down the verse many times a day so the physical muscle memory of writing helps you remember. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Huh. Some people are more visual, so it helps them to see it written. They might keep a copy in their pocket or in their room. Then try to remember to say it several times throughout the day and use that written note to check until they don't need the note. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. At my house, if I'm working on some verses, I'll write it out and then tape it to the mirror in the bathroom so I can see it while I brush my teeth. Your work is a lamp on my feet, a light on my path. <laughs> Your work is a lamp on my feet, a light on my path. Ooh, I'm getting it. I'm gonna get Other people 
like to build a mental image and see the words as things or actions. So, tool number five is brain pictures. To do your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Think about an image of the Bible as the word of God, then a flashlight like a lamp. Next, they visualize their feet. Finally, they might think of aiming it at a road in front of themselves. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Let's recap these ways to memorize scripture. We can listen to it over and over, read it and say it many times, listen to it set to music, write it down many times, and picture parts of it in our brains. Are you ready to say it with me? <laughs> Here we go. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. That was great. Now you try it on your own. <laughs> well done. Good job, everyone. Now let's see how many of us remember yesterday's verse. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Psalms 119 verse 11. Good. See, memorizing is not too hard. Okay, my friends, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us your word and giving us a brain that helps us think in different ways. Help us to keep memorizing scriptures throughout the day and to lean more and more on your word. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. All right, friends, keep working on those memory verses. Later this week on Friday, we will hear from kids about memorizing and maybe new ways they use to memorize God's words. Come back tomorrow for Worship Wednesday. Now, it's out to my girl, Colleen. Bye. Okay, we're back with Balance Beam Knockdown, and I've got my dad here who's gonna be using pool noodles to knock me down. Now, Dad, I gotta hand it to you yesterday. You did really good with the pitfalls definitely knocked me down um but i don't know actually this makes me nervous looking at these cool noodles <laughs> well are you ready yeah I'm ready. because i'm going to knock you down with these too okay all right good luck <laughs> all right let's see um we're gonna put 30 seconds on the clock yes 30 seconds i think there has to be like some distance here like these are long cool noodles can't just come up here. This, this space needs to be protected. All right, we're yeah. ready. Oh, and let's yeah. go. What do we got tomorrow? Well, tomorrow we're going to be telling secrets. What's telling secrets? Ah, you'll find out tomorrow. Okay. See you then. <laughs> <laughs>